And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. A historic night after a slow start, the Astros' Ronel Blanco threw his first career no-hitter tonight, helping the team to win their first game of the season. This, of course, comes after the team had a bad first few, very bad first few games over the weekend. Tonight, I talk with sports journalist Jim Hicks for the Strohs and other Houston teams who, uh, I mean, they didn't do as we thought they would. And joining us on the Factor on Sensor tonight is Jim Hicks. Jim, last week we were all excited about the Houston Astros, about the University of Houston. What the hell happened this weekend, Jim? Well, Let's I mean... Let's start with the, the University of Houston first. Well, with, with University of Houston, that was an easy identification, and that is injuries. The injury bug finally got the best of the Houston Cougars at the most opportune time for an opponent, and meaning that you held Duke to only 54 points, but U of H only scored 51. And in the injury thing, Jamal shed, he goes down with the injury, with an ankle injury, another ankle injury, and that. You know, any two ways, as tough as this young man is, any two ways he could have came back and finished that game off, he would have. But still, the Cougars had a chance to win this thing. And they just just fell short. They couldn't score without Jamal Shedd. Uh, like I said, it only produced 51 points. And now, you, you know, I don't know if it's bittersweet. Dukes goes, advances, loses the next game to North Carolina State. Because down in H-Town, Isaiah, we were kind of looking forward. The stars were lining up for that, 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 uh, how would you say it? The five slammer jammer and <laughs> memories, of, memories of Jim Valvano, the late, great Jim Valvano in North Carolina State meeting up again. And we would have whooped them. Would have eased, we would have whooped them. But I ever, it's one of those seasons where it's still optimism still remains for the Cougars. This is one of the hottest destinations in the country. From what I'm hearing, a lot of kids that are in the transfer portal, there's over approximately 2,000 young men in the transfer portal, and a lot of them have been calling and trying their best to see if University of Houston would take them. But once again, U of H, they look for a certain type of player that has the, the ability to put to I guess to compete on the defense, defensive side of the ball and and be able to be a part of this program. It's going to be special. Um, I'm, I mean, think about it. They didn't lose a game at home this year, Isaiah. The Cougars won every right. single game at home. Well, and, and, you and, know, and let's 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 move on to the Astros really quick. Zero and four. Zero and four. We haven't saw, seen a start like that since what? 2011, 2010, way back then. Yeah, 2011 and Astros. This is not you can extend this back to last season in the World Series. I mean, in the in the series with the with the Rangers, we've lost six straight games at home. We got to find a way to win to turn your home field into a home field advantage. That's what the Astros have to do. I mean, we started this season out. Isaiah, you brought a bat. Last week, I had a glove. We was, we was ready to play. We took a great picture and posted on social media. I went out and bought some Astros gear, which I'd never buy. I, I mean, and here we are, 0-4, with the Blue Jays are now in are in town, of course. And, you know, Astros are going to play 20 games with only one day off to start the season. It's 20 days with only one day off. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. After Toronto, you got to take, you got to, we have to visit the Texas Rangers. Then we visit the Kansas City Royals. Then we come back home to play the Rangers again for a three game stand, and followed by the Atlanta Braves with another three game stand. That's a brutal stretch. And whatever the problems may be, we know what it ain't. We know Dusty Baker wasn't the problem. That's for certain. Mm -hmm. People that was out there, we heard you guys chirping like last season and all on the internet just wearing this senior citizen out. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible thing, Jim. Horrible <laughs> thing. Well, now we see. Now we see. Yeah. We appreciate you joining us here on the Factor on Censored. We are proud of the players at the University of Houston and, of course, the Astros. We just want them to get on track.